You know, I just think we go through our lives with these voids, you know, and I say this because personally when I was 18 I found there were things that I just had trouble thinking about and I could look at them. I mean, for example, I just hate forms, so, you know, there were forms I was supposed to fill out in college that would have helped me or, like, I didn't fill out my taxes when you know, I was poor. I needed the money. They were going to give me all my money back that I'd given them, and I just, uh, I hated it. I had a hang-up about it. And so when I face things like this, I'm like, what's going on? I'm not, I know I'm intelligent enough to handle this thing. What's going on? And I found it was like a, a void there. I could look into what was going on in my mind there, but it, it was a weird kind of uh, feature-filled darkness, you know, the void where it's really, there's stuff there, but to you it looks like a black and gray, you know, tempest because you're confused and you feel confused. And I see most people aren't even looking at these things. It's like, have you ever been like in a room, uh, a party or wherever with someone and you don't want to have eye contact? Maybe it's someone you have problems with or whatever the reason is. Or maybe you're attracted to them and you're... No, forget that one because then you'd be sneaking a glance. But uh, so you're trying to avoid their eye contact and it's like wherever you go it's like you swing around in ways such that you don't look in that direction that you think that they're in and uh, this is what people are doing with their own mind and often I'm, I'm dealing with people and I see how they're skirting a big circle of a void and you just you just can't get it it's like turn around and, and instead of turn around they'll walk around to the other side of the void then they're facing that degree I've turned around it's like no turn around again I was just looking that way no there's something in between that you're moving around, you know, and they just avert their gaze, you know, that's the, that's the technique, and, um, you know, and I see these voids, but they're confusing to me, to them, you know, so what I see is just that it's there, it's, it's not, uh, there's not a solution in me figuring out what's going on, because I find I still, I think we all have these voids that are hard to look into, that confuse you, I now, in my life, spend time looking and gazing into these um, uh, to these abysses, but um, but I haven't sorted them all or solved them all out. And so between my voids that I'm trying to peer into and their voids they are trying to avoid, um, it's very confusing dealing with people. And um, I really don't know the solution. You know, I know I'm very contemplative and and uh, an analytical and a lot of people are just like oh you got to be more intuitive and stuff but I'm also intuitive to me the intuitive part of thinking the emotional part is a part of thinking it's part of my contemplation it's part of my analysis and I really think the only solution is people need to uh, to grow some interest in the back corners and the attics of their own minds and uh, I doubt that I mean, I'm sure that's not going to happen in a widespread sense before I die. I mean, I'm not absolutely sure, certain, but I really would doubt that that would happen. But um, over the generations, that's, that's what we have to accomplish. Uh, because then we can sort out which of our conflicts are unnecessary and which are unavoidable.